Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we will present a short biography about Brahms. Widely considered one of the 19th century's greatest composers and one of the leading musicians of the Romantic era, Johannes Brahms was born May 7, 1833, in Hamburg, Germany. He was the second of Johanna Henrika Christian Niesen and Johann Jacob Brahms' three children. Music was introduced to his life at an early age. His father was a double bassist in the Hamburg Philharmonic Society, and the young Brahms began playing piano at the age of seven. By the time he was a teenager, Brahms was already an accomplished musician, and he used his talent to earn money at local inns, in brothels, and along the city's docks to ease his family's often tight financial conditions. In 1853 Brahms was introduced to the renowned German composer and music critic Robert Schumann. The two men quickly grew close, with Schumann seeing in his younger friend great hope for the future of music. He dubbed Brahms a genius and praised the young eagle publicly in a famous article. The kind words quickly made the young composer a known entity in the music world. In the early 1860s Brahms made his first visit to Vienna, and in 1863 he was named director of the Sing Academy, a choral group, where he concentrated on historical and modern a cappella works. Brahms never married. Following his failed attempt at making Clara Schumann his lover, Brahms went on to have a small string of relationships. They included an affair with Agathe von Siebold in 1858, which he quickly, for reasons never really understood, withdrew from. Stubborn and uncompromising, Brahms was also known to be brusque and sarcastic with adults. With children, he showed a softer side, often handing out penny candy to kids he encountered in his neighborhood in Vienna. He also enjoyed nature and frequently went for long walks in the woods. Brahms remained in Vienna for the rest of his life. Summers found him traveling extensively throughout Europe, while concert tours also put him on the road as well. During these performances, Brahms either conducted or performed strictly his own material. These later years for the composer saw him living a comfortable life. His music, since 1860 anyway, had sold well, and Brahms, far from flamboyant or excessive, lived a frugal life in his simple apartment. A shrewd investor, Brahms did well in the stock market. His wealth, however, was rivaled by his generosity, as Brahms often gave money to friends and young musical students. Brahms' commitment to his craft showed he was a perfectionist. He often destroyed finished pieces he deemed unworthy, including some 20 string quartets. In 1890 Brahms claimed he was giving up composing, but the stance was short-lived, and before long he was back at it again. Brahms himself certainly had death on his mind. On May 20, 1896, his old friend Clara passed away after several years of health problems. Around this time, Brahms' own health began to deteriorate. Doctors discovered that his liver was in poor condition. Brahms gave his last performance in March 1897 in Vienna. He died a month later, on April 3, 1897, from complications due to cancer. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.